Hello engineers. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use the navigation tools and their shortcuts. We have here a 3D component, which we will use to demonstrate the navigation tools. But first of all, we'll study the pan tool. The shortcut for this is to hold down the middle mouse button and then to move the mouse. So like this, we can pan around our part very easy. Next, we have the zoom navigation tool. So here we use the scroll wheel on the mouse and we can zoom in and out of the part, very simple. Next we have a zoom all. So to demonstrate this, I will zoom out of my part and I will pan it over to this corner here. Zoom all is where we can zoom to either our part or assembly in the entire graphics window. The shortcut for this is to double click the middle mouse button. So for example, I will do that now. As we can see, our part is now right in the center and visible in the graphics window. I'll just do that again. So I'll zoom out, I'll put it in a different corner and I will double click the middle mouse button and there we have zoomed all of our part. The next tool is orbit. So for this, we hold down shift and we hold down at the same time the middle mouse button and then we move the mouse. We can orbit our part like so. On the right hand side, we have the navigation panel. So here we can actually select each of the tools we have already studied. So at the very top here, we have the pan tool. So if we select that, we can then hold down the left mouse button and pan about our part or assembly. Then here we have a series of zoom tools. So zoom, zoom all, so let's double click the middle mouse button. We can zoom to a window in which we can draw, or we can zoom to a selected edge or face. And just below that, we have the orbit tool. So if we select this, we now have this circle around our part. We hold down the left mouse button inside the circle. We can orbit the part like this. And then if we move the mouse cursor over the circumference of the circle, we can rotate the part either clockwise or anti-clockwise like so. Likewise, if we move the mouse cursor over the quadrants, we can rotate the part about specific axes like this. In the top right hand corner, we have the view cube. We have here the home icon. So if we select this, this will show us the default view on our part or assembly. And we also have here a series of faces, for example, the top view. And we can use these four arrows to move around so we can look at the part from the front view or the right view. And then we have these two arrows here. So we can use these to rotate the part 90 degrees, either clockwise or anti clockwise. If I go back to the home view, we can also select corners or edges like so. Anything we can highlight from the view cube, we can look at the part or assembly from that view. So those are the basic navigation tools and their shortcuts. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section and I will reply as soon as I can. I will see you in the next tutorial.